name is Tamara Chambers. And I should be ashamed I haven't seen this because this is like a cult classic. <laughs> I've never seen it. Do you even know what it's about? No. I, I just know there can be only one. That's all I know. I, in my mind, have this very specific idea of what the movie is, but reading the kind of synopsis of it on the, the Amazon screen, it's nothing like what I thought it was. So I have no idea <laughs> what this movie's going to be about. I just know something about Sean Connery's in it, swords, there can be only one, something about Scotland, and the sequels really blow. That's all I know. And one of them is called The Quickening, because that's the stupidest title. <laughs> and Queen does the music, I know. That, that I just found out. I didn't know that, so that makes me really excited. Also, this is Tamara's Never Seen. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, let's do it. <laughs> back from it and just like head come into frame whoop <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk about the shots later definitely but yeah so yeah let, let's talk about uh what this movie was about Tamara, go ahead <laughs> thank you so much thank you for giving that to me i just saw the whole damn thing i have no <laughs> idea what the hell just happened what the whole time i think i said what a hundred <laughs> yeah. and fifty times i think we were always afraid like because obviously we, we, we make jokes and we talk about the movie but we're just like did we do that too much or are we, we just miss missing something? everything like all of it. <laughs> From the start though, from the start, this man is in this random giant wrestling show, fuming, just livid to himself. He is pissed off that wrestling is fake. Yeah. He is just watching like, son of a bitch. Love it him. was real when Hulk, Hulk was in there. His Neanderthal brow <laughs> just dominates every scene until everyone else shows up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that first scene, he leaves the wrestling show he goes into this open car lot with like garage with all these beautiful cars and then this guy shows up and they sword fight in the middle of a New York garage and- He's dressed like Agent Smith, but like 20 years older. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clearly not fit to be doing the flips and sword fighting that he's doing, though they yeah. don't really sword fight real in this movie at all. No, the, the, the stage combat isn't great. That's why it looks like stage combat. It looks yeah. like two little kids who are fighting for the first time. There's a lot of this and a lot of this. Like that's it, that's yeah. cut the stuntmen doing flips. Whoa, so, wait, too many flips. <laughs> like who the actor is, it's too many flips. But yeah, all the fighting is like A and B and C. And Perry, and yeah. It's like, oh, there is. <laughs> okay, 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 we get it. How are you the Highlander? <laughs> How are you the one? Because he doesn't die. <laughs> That's it. That's only qualification, I guess. It goes back and forth between the 1500s, I think, Scotland, and the 80s. <laughs> and you see a little bit spliced in between of like earlier times than that and later times than that, but mostly it's those two time frames. And it goes back and forth, back and forth. And he's like learning how to be the Highlander from Sean Connery, who's just fabulous. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> he is a special creature in this movie. He shows up like every scene starts and ends, which is like two people talking. Like we're just talking, just like, ha, ha, oh, just well, talking. Something, BAM! <laughs> <laughs> just something comes out. Sean Connery in a purple suit. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. like. Like, you just see, like, you know, uh, uh, Christopher Lambert, they're just thinking, suddenly beer bottle's like, BAM! Yeah, <laughs> and he's yeah. like, tied up, and people are throwing shit at him. It's like, where did this come from? A, a scene literally explodes. There's like, yeah. two people are talking, and it just explodes into the next scene, and I'm like, what was that? And it can't, uh, to its credit, I think I would have gotten bored at some points. There's a few dragging points, but those transitions are like, I'm back yeah. in it. I am in it now. And the shots in this movie, I, I, I my favorite one, here, hold on, we're gonna recreate it. Okay, great, great, great. All right, so woman comes in, I think her name's Candy or Chrissy, it's just, and she says, My name's Candy. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite shot. <laughs> my favorite shot is this, I'm, okay. You're talking to this woman trying to save her. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I, I was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was faster than that, but it was like. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Just like a cartoon sound effect needed to be there so fast. It kept you on your toes because you kept waiting for like just somebody's head to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> or just a scene to 
to explode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I loved it, and I don't know what it was. Uh, the movie. Yeah, I... I really have fun. It was a figurative and literal blast at times. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, they are so into it, and they are just doing everything to make the shots look cool and the editing cool, and then just like, hey, this guy's a bad guy. Well, what's he do? Well, he kidnaps this woman, and he just drives on the street on the sidewalk for no goddamn reason. And, and it's like, ah! Long sequences of him just being weird. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't supposed to be that long, but the director was like, yeah, cool. Just, just go, just go. Just I feel like it. whatever anyone recommended in this film, the cinematographer was like, well, I want this shot to start down here, and then it goes down here, and it goes like into a person's eye, and then out their ass, and he's like, yeah, do it. Absolutely. <laughs> like, just, just do it. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to do, I don't Absolutely. care. <laughs> the things that they did well, they did really well, and the things that they didn't were just like so weird. Like, the evil guy, I loved him, but his prosthetic was... <laughs> blaringly terrible, like the worst prosthetic I've ever seen, but they kind of leaned into it. Like they added some paper or safety pins. It's like, okay. It's, a, it's about as good as the old lady makeup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Later yeah. when he's watching like his girlfriend die and literally all they did, they just put a few wrinkle lines and gave her a white wig. And dark she's lighting. <laughs> yeah, and she's dying. They shoot her in the dark. Why does he sound like Tommy Wiseau? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, what? Well, well the, the one that killed the killed us is what you said. Oh, Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded just like him. His laugh is exactly like too. He's like, ha 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 ha. Yeah. Like he looks like him. He sounds like him. Isn't he the best? <laughs> Don't talk too much. I love it. Yeah, it's like every time. It's like trying to think back to all like just the crazy scenes, uh, mixed in with like you know some beautiful cinematography, but then just something. Totally insane, like, I can hear that elk's heart, and then just him and Sean Connery are running on the beach, like the best romance in the world. Like, I can hear an elk's heart. He's like, that's the quickening. It's like, what is? <laughs> what is this? Hearing an elk's heart is the quickening? What? Like, they never explain anything. You never know what the quickening really is. And, and there's a scene, okay, so like, where, you know, he's meeting this woman in the 80s and he's convincing her that he, he's immortal. That immediately means they have to they as have soon as that happens. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, they've spent scenes and scenes and scenes with him and Sean Connery being sensual as hell together. They had the most chemistry, and I refuse to believe that the people in love were them. <laughs> <laughs> were them in the 80s. It was clearly oh, Chris no. Lambert and Sean Connery. I mean, by God. A million percent. I mean, I really did love it. I did too. It was the so music much fun. made it yeah. amazing. At, at the end, like, you know, there's the big battle where they just go like this over and over and and it looks like he's defeated but then the girlfriend comes in to like knock him once and then he comes in he's like what kept you like suddenly that's like his spinach for some reason like yeah. that just gives him the strength and then like when he kills him like suddenly he turns into like black cauldron like all these things are going into him like white pink elephants or something like that and then the <laughs> windows explode and we're saying because of course they are and yeah. we're just like the only thing that would make this like even crazier is if queen actually came in playing the song through the windows it, yeah he's like the dragon born of humans like in taking in the souls and it doesn't look great, but I believe it. I kind of love it. <laughs> you can see the strings oh, holding him the whole time. Amazing. They didn't even try to hide it. It was like they tried to show us. This is how we're doing the effect. <laughs> Do you see this? The only time where I, I was getting out of it is whenever it cuts back to like the 80s. It's like the cops or her trying to do research on it. Yeah. Like that shit's boring because yeah. like we just saw Sean Connery as the Scarlet Pimpernel. And it's like, <laughs> dude, I, I want to see more of that crazy shit. I want to see them kiss. <laughs> <laughs> kiss, kiss. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that stuff was kind of boring. But the awkward dialogue I thought was fun just because it's so awkward and yeah. so weird. For sure. <laughs> I think I'll say the most believable part of the movie is that Sean Connery is Egyptian. <laughs> Damn right. You know? <laughs> it's a movie about Scotland! Why are you having Sean Connery play the Egyptian? Egyptian. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why? <laughs> it's like one day they were smoking weed and they were like, you know what would be hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm's on Malcolm's here. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Malcolm, what did you think of it? It had a definite sense of humor, for sure. It was silly. It was so silly, but it was so much fun. And yeah. it was just so going all the way with it. Whatever it was, it was going all the way with it. Except for 
the gay romance. Come on, you should have gone all the way with that, but yeah. still. <laughs> well, it's a little difficult for me, but uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll say nine simply because some of the, like I said, cop scenes were boring and stuff, but that's- Nine, I, I, nine. I'll give it nine. I, 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 I had a blast, man. Wow, okay, I was gonna give it a seven and a half. Hair flip. I, I had a blast. <laughs> I had so much. I would go. I really want to do a nostalgia critic on this. That just so I can fun. watch it again. Because as we're watching, we're just throwing so many jokes at him. Like, yeah. this would be fun. Well, if we do that, can I please play the character who only does chores and laughs? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> sweeping, <laughs> pouring a drink. Even after we find out the terrible thing that happened to her, she's still like, <laughs> like for the rest of her days. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was that was a legit like, yeah. <laughs> like holy shit moment. Yeah, especially in that Doctor Claw voice. Just going, yeah. <laughs> what is happening? To I don't know. Boy? I love it. I love it. That was excellent. Well, thank you for watching Highland. Thank you me. for inviting me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this was great. Yeah, now get out because there could be only one.